Well, my fellow mistakes, sick up here at your service. For those who are new, I'm also at your service as well. So, I uh, just got done recording the video uh, dedication to my friend Brad, who passed away a few years ago. Uh, more than a few years ago, actually. And I uh, want to talk about this guitar, which I named after him. Well, if I don't hit it. So... I named this guitar after my friend Brad. Everything, pretty much everything has been customized to what I want. I bought this guitar off of AliExpress. And I don't know how all this is going to show. But I based it off this guitar, which I used to have. That was an Ibanez. This is just a cheap knockoff of a Chinese Gibson so anyways, let's talk about it. It was going to be a cherry red finish with a black pickguard, but I told him, hey, I want it all flat black. Um, the toggle switch, which is right here, was going to be right here by the uh, control cap, by the uh, control knobs. So they were nice enough to do that as well. Um... Two P90 pickups, of course, our original. <laughs> um, as like a, I want to say maybe like a 60s, 59-ish neck. Not too thick, not too slim, uh, not too thick, not too uh, thin. These are not the original tuners. These tuners on here came originally with a... Uh, the original tuners were like a Gibson 50s-ish. These tuners came off a uh, off of a uh, a guitar that of mine that broke. The headstock broke and could not be fixed. So I took the tuners off, and they are black flip-up winding tuners. So yeah, love that. <laughs> the graphic on here, I. As you saw, is based off of another guitar I had, which I just showed you of that picture. Um, this is a custom vinyl I got done at a local shop on the city I used to live in. Um, this was a stop bar tailpiece, um, which is which I replaced with a Stets bar uh, float uh, trim. Which sounds pretty good. Does this job what I want. Which I don't use it that much. But when I do use it, it comes in handy. Uh, I put a uh, replaced nut from the plastic to a um, to, um, graphite nut. Um, yeah, so that's all for what I had done with this. And I put, as always... On my speed knobs, um, grip tape, because it helps grip the knob better whenever I need to slam the volume down or turn it up. Um, yeah, let's hear. Let's give a little. Let's give a little demo of how this sounds. I mean, you probably just heard it off the. Uh, oh, and the strap actually used to belong to my friend Brad. So, kind of a little dedication piece guitar to him that. Well, anyways, yeah, he uh, fortunately passed away of a grand mal seizure at the age of 24. Which, one of my videos actually has him in it where him and I are playing a couple cover songs. Which I'll also link that video to this video if you want to see that. So, let's hear uh, this guitar I also use mainly for punk rock covers like Ramones and stuff like that. Um, Holiday Cambodia, which I'll do eventually. <laughs> and a few other, well, punk rock style covers and punk rock covers in general. So let's see here. So let's, uh, I'm gonna, not including Green Day, I have separate covers or separate guitar for that so let's hear how it sounds um i do not have my 
am plugged into my uh, laptop. So hopefully this will turn out good. So this is just the uh, just the bridge pickup. Alright, this is the neck and middle pickup. And just the neck. And that was on the clean channel, or not really clean channel, but my amp is set to clean. So let's try it with the uh, guitar uh, distortion pedal. Uh, this is just the bridge pickup. Alright, this is the neck and bridge. And this is just the neck. it stays in tune very well surprisingly enough um it took me about <clears throat> maybe two to three years to get this completed um getting the money was kind of an issue looking into the uh step spar style piece um was again just looking into it i looked at a few different options for it like for example the um, looked into a few different ones, like the Floyd Rose one. There's like maybe one or two others that I looked into. Can I recommend this tailpiece, um, or this, uh, floating, not floating, but trim system? Um, yeah, I, I can definitely recommend it. Uh, and the best part about this, uh, uh, trim piece is you don't have to modify anything to it. Not at all, which, which works for me, <laughs> which I love because I don't know how to modify when it comes to routing. I don't have the stuff for it, nor do I have the knowledge of how to do it. I mean, if I were to have to cut something out, I'd probably fuck it up. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this little a uh, demonstration of my guitar Brad that, again, I named after a friend who passed away. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Until next time, stay tuned up. Keep it rocking.